beautiful to show a product upside down on the floor. But hey, again, it's got to be a shitty video, otherwise... Otherwise, it's not a NAM video. Well, otherwise, what's the point? Right? Yeah, I'm bringing 12,000 bucks worth of gear to make shitty videos. It's so sad. I know, right? Yo, YouTube. Guitar? Is it, is it guitar people? Yeah, guitar people, I guess. I'm here with the, not the... The boss guy, which means I literally don't know his name, but boss guy is a you know, good, good thing. The name's Austin. <laughs> Austin. Would you rather have Austin or boss guy? I like either or. I think I like your intro better. <laughs> the with two E's. Well, that's, that's what it says right there and his, his balls, right there. Yeah, that's, the, that's my Instagram handle. <laughs> hey, so if you want to find Austin on Instagram, it's the underscore boss underscore guy yep. um, so if you like his playing which we don't know if we're going to like it he might be he might be shit then again he wouldn't work for boss if he's shit right uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, everybody's their own worst critic though I mean maybe you're dating the bosses bosses <laughs> get that daughter <laughs> that's that's how you really work your way up <laughs> you just got to know the right people man <laughs> so we're here with the new blue thing that has more numbers than the old blue thing yeah. which looks very similar to the SY300 but it's got more clicky switchies yeah more clicky switchies more knobbies you know and a little bit different on the whole approach I just heard something about processing I didn't understand what Jay's having literally yeah. I know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Be better uh, definitely better tracking yeah. so much better tracking well, the tracking was already killer on the 300 but it's always felt a little bit like when you go, Dave, we're up here. Come on, man. Get with the fucking program. Cheddar Kung Power behind the camera. So if our heads are cut off, that's his thing. <laughs> I love you, Dave. Um, so um, I loved it. And it was, it's not a guitar to GK MIDI synth. You actually just plug in your guitar and it takes the audio signal right. and runs it through oscillators and all that stuff. Yeah, that's basically what's happening in this, but now we're still using the GK to get more expressiveness. Ah, uh, so you need the GK. You don't need the GK with this one, but you're limiting yourself to some of the top... Dita, come here. Dita, come here. Uh, he's going to get in a pick. He's going to get in. Come here. Come here. Here's Dita Husberg, one of my all-time heroes. You've seen him. He was in the Beatles, obviously. That's where you get the cap. How are you doing, Dita? I'm fine. I'm going home tonight, so it's great. Oh, you suck so hard. I love the name show. I love it. I'm here since 35 years. I'm not hit by, I've been, I, I go home in between, but I, I love NAM shows. And really? Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, because you don't have to make videos all day long. That's right. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here. You still have to come to my place with your tube screamer. Yeah, I know. Like literally, let's, let's do it. Yeah, promise. Get out of here. <laughs> One of my heroes, I read his magazine, Guitar and Bass in Germany, when I was like, you know, this high. And uh, it influenced, I mean, we didn't have YouTube. We didn't have amazing people like me or you, you know, back in the day. Yeah, I wish I had that yeah. when we were kids, man. We had to read magazines, like, you know, on the crapper. Yeah, I know. You had to, like, put a vinyl record. Yeah. Uh, so, um, where were we? Oh, um, yeah. yeah, so... Uh, the, blue the, the, the blue thing. The 300. Um, all great, really awesome tracking for me, but it... It felt like one of those, uh, I had a JV-1080, JV-880, right. all those. And um, just clip, uh, step, stepping through the presets, you have that Roland E, you know, the typical Roland recorder sound and then the choir sound. And then all, and it kind of felt a little bit like those times where it's like, yeah, but it's kind of same old, same old. And it has this, I use the word plasticky. I, in, not in a negative way, but it's got right. that Roland sound. And I felt like, it should be a little bit more modern. And I think that in the SY1, something changed in terms of the processing. Yeah, it definitely did as far as the voicing of the oscillator and using just separate DSP power for just an oscillator. So you would be running one at a time as opposed to having multiple stacks. So that way the sound comes out a little more rolled off on the top and gives a more warmer and fuller sound. So you were talking about the, the tracking here, yeah. which is better. So you can still run just guitar in and done, because for me, the, G, the GK system would be a little bit of a turn off because it means I can't just switch guitars out willy-nilly if I want to, because I then I have to have it installed on every guitar. And also, it's, it's come on, show it. It's, it's a little bit clunky. It's not the sexiest thing when, you can, when it comes to rock and roll. It's not the sexiest thing in the world, but it definitely gives you so many options as far as like going into this synth. It'll give you things like instrument modeling. So even if you want a different guitar, you can just make one in there. 
Make your own guitar. Build it with any pickups that you want. Make a bass. Make an acoustic guitar. So it's way more than a synthesizer. Correct. Also probably more polyphonic stuff, right? Absolutely. And it still does poly polyphony over quarter inch, but with the GK you can do things like alternate tunings. You can separate your different synthesizer sounds on different strings and different parts of the guitar. So here's the main difference to the 300. 300 was only an analog input. It didn't even deal with the GK. So the GK was added, which of course then adds the whole pol uh, possibility of guitar sounds. And look, this guy will tell you anything. It's never gonna sound like an electric guitar into a tube amp. I mean, but you, you probably wouldn't even claim that because you know I'm just gonna like you know, laugh at you, right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. But it gives you a lot of really cool options that you can't do with a regular guitar. And I know that a lot of the jazz guys totally love the possibilities. Oh, uh, it's And to have like only the low E string give you like a synth bass and stuff like this, there's a lot of really cool things. Right. So what we're going to do is, well, you can't really see too much, but you can see things here. We have it out of the mixer right now in mono, so we should go through a couple of your most mind-blowingly flabbergasting impressive yeah. presets. Yeah. You have one chance to woo us. <laughs> and then we're quickly going to look at the very in-depthitude uh, editor because you don't want to edit this. Look, I got a bitch about this. I don't get it. It's 2000 freaking 20 and we're looking at a monochrome non-touch screen. I know Jay from marketing is over there, but look, I have a review channel. It's 2020. Where are the colors, boss? Where is the touchy-feely thing? I'm like, come on. That's all I'm saying, because I wouldn't want to edit on this, but I can edit on this. Absolutely. Yeah, so here's, here's all your color right there. Don't but, 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 look, I'm a bitchy kind of guy. You don't know this yet. Does, well, it, does, it, does it have Bluetooth? Well, no, it doesn't. Well, yeah, what, what, uh, what, you have, you have your laptop on stage? Uh, no way. <laughs> uh, so what are you, you're in the practice room, okay? And you're quickly like, oh man, I really wish that that filter was a little bit more closed. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to bend down? Oh wait, yeah, you can bend down and do it. Okay, fine. So you can do it. But yes. you know, it would be so much cooler. Just whip out your phone, look at some porn, and then, okay, now I'm going to edit it. That's That actually sounds like a great time. <laughs> okay. So, it doesn't have Bluetooth and it's monochrome, but now the sounds have to be even more awesomer. They are. I got a little three-minute medley I can play for. Let's go. I sit over there and, uh, I don't know, play with myself. You play with yourself. Yeah, sure. You got your phone, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I have, you
Yeah. Jay, I gotta go work. Okay, that was very impressive. You might have. Did you improvise that? No, uh, I kind of fudged it together, so. <laughs> it felt kind of rehearsed. I worked on it last night and, like, uh, I only gave it, like, about like five minutes, though. So. Awesome, awesome. You're very, very talented. The boss guy. <laughs> um, it, it felt much. Oh God! I want to use, I want to use the word authentic. That is wrong. Uh, Let's not use that word ever again. Some some company fucked that one up. Okay. <laughs> um, no, it, it, I, I felt the warmth and these are the sounds. We, the sounds. Why am I whispering? Exactly. This is the sounds we want. <laughs> we want those sounds. Yeah. Okay. And um. Uh, just was talking to Jay, it makes a lot of sense to have it GK compatible because there's obviously a huge installed user base of the GK pickup. Right, so there is. So why do products that don't involve it because they all got like, damn it, we, we put this on our guitars and like, we have this thing, can you please give us something that utilizes it? Yeah, so that's that's where the subtractive synthesis and a more wave-based uh, synthesis engine comes in to give it more modern sounds as opposed to, you know, sample based, which is where the GR55 is in. And you had to play it a specific way. You couldn't do all the fun, cool guitarism shit that you normally do, you know, bends and vibratos and harmonics. So this is the better synthesis if you want to be more expressive as a guitar player, but with all these crazy synthesizer sounds in there. Um, plus, it gives you alternate tunings, instrument modeling, polyphonic effects, splitting your sounds. It's, it's so deep and involved that like now, you can go down a rabbit hole. Now let's go, I mean, let's get your corporate pitch. The editor. <laughs> yes. We know, I'm sorry, you guys and me guy knows that when it comes to editors, boss doesn't, isn't, isn't necessary. It's not sometimes the most intuitive or the prettiest. How good is the editor? And I know, I know you're going to tell me it's awesome, but I still, I still need to ask. How good is the editor? Actually, the editor is very good. If you read left to right and can read shorthand, this thing's a breeze. For example, let me go into reviewer mode. I, I love the visual representation of this, not just having knobs. But if you're looking at this, which is probably a 4K screen, I assume. Yeah. There's so much dead space. So everything gets very small. And I'm old, okay? I mean, on my screen at home, some of the stuff is like tiny, you know, like my weenie. Um, and then you have all this. It, it feels like the screen real estate isn't used to its full potential. Yeah, it's it's because it's adaptable. Because we know, like, you know, guitar players don't have a lot of money to buy a new fancy computer, right? They just want to spend $50 on an overdrive pedal and call it a day. So you know what? Older computers don't have that high resolution like they do back in the day, like now. So what, Not everyone has, like, an Apple 6K screen? What? <laughs> yeah, musicians are broke. Is this new for you? Dude, they're only 5000 bucks, but 1000 bucks for the stand. Come on, I mean... It's a bargain. That's that's your bargain. <laughs> Dude, I have three of them. Ugh. I got one in the bathroom. Can I have your job? <laughs> I, I, I wish I had that. No, okay. Um, it does scale rather nicely. So if you actually drag it, drag the window to the corner, it actually ad ad adapts. Um, I would have to go and really, you know, look at it in, in depth to see how it's implemented. Thing is... Uh, but what they don't do, and it's just a de decision. We like to be reminded without infringing on people's copyright. Right. Like on, let's say, the Waza Tubem Expander. Do I want to see like a Voxy kind of cap? Yeah, but stay away from calling it Vox or whatever. But right. they don't really show me any of that. It is the same kind of modern interface. Um, and um, But we guitar players, we're very, very traditional. So having some kind of visual representation of what I'm looking at, sometimes helps me to get inspired and I think especially on a synthesizer right. it would help to see okay this is Moogish Moog 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 Yes. Yes. So having some kind of you know I know it's stupid but having the, the wooden panel thing the old Moogie knobs helps us to kind of know where I want to push the sound it helps me to be inspired so this is very practical it's not sexy Right, but that's but that's the thing is that sometimes as as musicians we're trying to work, right? We're trying to like get paid. So sometimes uh, with our interfaces we kind of cater to that type of person because we know that it's about the tools, it's about the utilities. So something like this, just clearly labeling everything, is just something we've always done. And people that have 
bought our products in the past are for very, very familiar with this type of interface. So it's kind of like we set the ground rules for that, and then everyone kind of just adds in all the all the fancy wood paneling and the turning knobs and stuff like that. And I, I agree with you. It would be really cool to maybe do something like that. And that might be for the future, but we're focusing on the working man guy for this. Jay, you need to pay this guy more money. He's got good answers to all my questions. I'm going to go with that the boss guy is highly underpaid because I got nothing to throw at him. I'm throwing all the shit I can at him. And he's like, okay. And I'm like, okay, that makes sense. I'm like, ah, but, but, but. He's like, nope. All right, makes sense. So you had me at hello, boss guy. Maybe I should add a couple more E's to the the part. You've earned another one E, okay? From I only added one more. If Instagram doesn't give you that much space. Come on. So, it's 2020, add more space. <laughs> this was the boss SY higher number. It's a 1,000. I mean, they could have gone with you know, 300 and then, I don't know, 600 or the 999. But no, it's the 1,000. Yeah, because three numbers aren't as impressive as four. Ta! SY a trillion. Maybe, maybe, maybe in like. Maybe in like 30-30. You <laughs> see, any company that does that, I would just, it can sound like shit, I would just love them for it. SY and then literally write out a trillion. It's just trolling people. It's trolling magazines. All the vendors have to put that on their website. Every time someone's got to count out the numbers, I would, I would full on do that just to be an ass. But I mean, boss are too nice. They're just too nice. 1,000. But can you imagine how mean that would be? That would be so annoying. You're a cruel human being. All the forums, it's like, here's the, the SY1 oh, yeah. uh, trillion, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Should I just drag him off the stage now? Okay, I, mean, I got to be saving I, my ass. <laughs> apparently, uh, Matt Knight came in and Matt's going to be like, get Henning off the stage, no one invited him. We're going to close the door. Gonna well, I, I, I go now. Yeah, leave me, leave me to peace, man. Sorry, man. It's day four. Come on. That was a great demo. Uh, <laughs> SY, higher number 1000. Uh, boss with a GK. It's still blue. It sounds pretty damn awesome. Uh, and it has a big ass editor. Uh, that was me from here. And, uh, wait, wait, we do this. Animals. Where? At the end. At the end. See, he gets it.